Hello and welcome to this video. My name's David Thorne. This is now the fifth video in my Docker Basics uh, video tutorial series on YouTube. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to execute like arbitrary code on an image and it will basically then install any package onto your one your one machine. Okay, uh, without any description, let's just go straight into doing it, right? So what I want to be able to do inside of this one directory is I want to be able to uh, create a composer uh, project, right, for uh, PHP or whatever, but I don't want to install composer on my one machine. And I don't want to have anything to do with PHP on my, on my one machine, but I want to know that I get a composer project uh, up and running, okay? So what we need to do is we need to be able to uh, pull and run, delete and execute Composer on the machine without Composer being here. And we can do this super easy, right? Pull run is going to download the Composer image if it isn't already there already. So we don't have to do anything there. And we're going to say then dash dash RM. It's going to say, hey, I want to delete any existence of this one um, service that run, this container that run after it's finished. I'm also going to say, that I want you to use this one directory to any output any files, right? And we're going to map that to the working directory of the composer machine. I'm going to show you how I got this information once we complete this. So I want you to map this one directory to the forward slash app directory in the one container, right? That's going to be run. And the container, the image that I want to use is composer. So I want to use the latest version. And inside the um, inside the container I want you to execute this one command and I want to say composer init and I'm going to say dash dash uh, name and in here I'm going to say David Thorne forward slash app all right and this is going to be like the namespace the name of my one composer in it and then I'll press like enter and this will go off and it will pull uh, the latest version of composer and it should be quite fast actually, so I can continue talking without having to speed up uh, the video. So once this is finished, it's downloading and pulling it, you can see here that uh, it just went straight off and executed uh, that one command and it, and it created the composer.json within this one uh, folder, right? And as you can see, it's there. So let's just clear this screen and cut out uh, the composer.json. And as you can see, this basically is completely useless in here. Um, which is what we wanted, right? We wanted to know that we could execute Composer uh, on our machine without having Composer installed. So, how did I know which I, I? How did I know this app? How did I know where it was going to go, right? Well, what we can do here is we can see the images that are are installed right now. We just have to Composer latest, and if we do uh, PS Docker PSA I haven't been over containers yet, but you can see there's nothing there, right? So let's just ignore this for now. But what we can do is we can say Docker image, right? And then we're going to say inspect, and we're going to say the image that we want to inspect. Now we're leaving out latest here because we've got latest already, and it's always going to default to the latest one. And we can come here, and it's going to spit out a whole bunch of stuff. But what I went to look at is I'm looking for the working directory, okay? And if we keep going down keep going down, keep going down, keep going down, and you'll see working directory here, and it's telling me that it's that forward slash app, all right? So what does this mean? Well, this means that when, let's go back to the command once again, and we remove uh, this composer in it. So this is now saying, run, if you haven't got the image, I want you to pull it first, and then I want you to create a container. We talked about the dash dash RM, it's gonna delete it afterwards, and dash V is saying, hey, it's a volume, I want to map this one folder in my on my machine to the forward slash app directory in the composer. Now, if we now say, um, if we execute ls dash al on the composer image, you'll see where it is, and it's, uh, it's, it's basically, um, going to output the listings of that one directory. So if we now say pwd, and you'll see it now says forward slash app, right? And if we now say ls um, here, and it will now output uh, basically the root folder with all of the contents there as well. So this is basically what it's doing, is it's, it's, it's pulled the image already, it's executed it, and then it's executing our uh, command inside that one container. And once you get an exit code from that container, it's removing the container as well. So this is basically how you uh, execute arbitrary code uh, with inside of uh, your, uh, with inside of a container, right? So we can, 
we can now say uh, composer require and um, symphony and var dumper if I remember rightly and it will now go off and it will download and install all of this now I do have PHP installed on my machine but as you see here now I've got a vendor directory I've got composer lock but I don't have to have I could go right out right now and get a brand new MacBook install docker on it run this command and there'll be no PHP there'll be no composer on my machine whatsoever and now it's installed all of the things so Docker is super awesome to be able to do this type of stuff and that is why uh, why you should use Docker. And this is a good example of how and why you use Docker in its simplest of forms. With that, th with that said, um, let's just go over um, how to delete the image and do a little bit of cleanup afterwards. And as we know, we've got Docker images and we can say uh, Docker RMI. And we're just gonna say A here because it's only got one image. And if we say Docker PS and dash A, this will list all containers or we can say container uh, ls here. Now we haven't been over this command yet, but it's an introduction to the containers and it's listing any containers that are there. And if we say dash uh, a, it will say, hey, give me your stop containers as well. But that's for that's for another video, okay? Okay, um, I hope you've got something out of this one video. I hope you understand a little bit more now why you should use Docker and how awesome it is to be able to, to execute arbitrary code on your one machine without having to install any dependencies, frameworks, packages, libraries on your actual local uh, machine itself. Thank you very much for watching. My name's David Dawn. If you do have any comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give me a like and obviously subscribe so you get notified when I release any new uh, content. Well, you could also ring the bell as well if you want to. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, goodbye.